Many scientists believe that if the world's temperature rises two degrees above pre-industrial levels, the effect will be irreversible. The actions of the world's largest emitters of greenhouse gases will have an enormous effect. China has developed rapidly over the last 40 years. It has raised 700 million people out of poverty. But it's also meant a sharp increase in the use of fossil fuels and importing energy from overseas. This made China the world's largest energy consumer. But on average, a Chinese person still uses only a third of the energy used by someone in a developed country. As China continues to develop, how to meet its growing energy needs and reduce the use of fossil fuels. In the fight against climate change, China will meet its target of peak emissions by 2030 or sooner. China is reducing its coal consumption and becoming the world's biggest investor in clean energy. In 2015, $103 billion were invested in renewable energy, a 17% increase on previous years and more than the combined investment of the US, the UK and Japan. China's goal is that 20% of its energy will come from non-fossil fuel energy by 2030. So where will it come from? China boasts abundant hydropower resources. China not only possesses the largest installed hydropower capacity in the world, but also possesses the most advanced hydropower technology. China's wind power industry is the fastest growing in the world. Two wind turbines were installed per hour in 2015. China's biggest plant has more than 3,500 turbines. But next, China needs to improve the grid to make sure it can use all the wind power that it generates. China can make more solar energy than anywhere else on Earth and also supports the development of solar power worldwide with advanced technology and equipment. In 2020, the country's solar panel installation capacity will reach 110 million kilowatts, which can provide electricity for 80 million people. It is particularly valuable in rural provinces, where more and more people are turning to home solar systems for energy. turning agricultural residue into pellets has kick-started a national biogas industry in China. 120 kilometers south of Beijing, China has developed its first smoke-free city. 95% of its heating comes from geothermal sources. Jiang County has become a model for other parts of China. As China has one-sixth of the world's geothermal resources, this resource will help to increase China's use of non-fossil fuel energy from 12% to 15%. Nuclear power currently accounts for 3% of China's total power generation. China's nuclear power units in operation have never had accidents at or above level 2 on the International Nuclear Accident Classification Scale. But China's plans to reduce carbon emissions don't just focus on clean energy. China plans to reduce its energy consumption and introduce new technology and approaches. China has become the world's largest electric and hybrid vehicle market and is supporting the industry to make it more attractive for manufacturers and consumers. And in 2017, China will introduce the world's largest carbon trading market encouraging companies to curb emissions. With this innovative approach, China hopes to lead by example in encouraging green energy and cutting carbon emissions. <laughs>